Look for me and you'll never lose sight. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the light. Waves come and the storms come. You will not go down. You will not go under. You are the lighthouse in the storm the true the true goddess divine goddess divine lighthouse in the storm shine lighthouse in the storm welcome family welcome to the Lighthouse Temple of Healing. I am your Oracle, Rose Delphi, also known as Sarah, the Mediterranean Goddess 1111. Here, shining my light. So I'm here to do a quick video, you guys. I want it to be a little bit longer, but I don't have the capacity on my phone to save any more stuff. So I need for you guys to give some donations so that I can get better equipment for the channel. I don't wanna have to be worrying about that I don't have enough space to record for you guys. I need to be able to just flow with spirit. But you know, can't stop me, can't stop us. We gonna keep going, okay? You guys, I'm gonna just get right into this, all right? So, Friday the 13th is coming up. This is a timeless reading though, okay? But um, I'm hearing Scorpio and Virgo, and I'm also hearing um, Libra, all right? So I heard Source, before I started this video, Source told me the tables have turned. And I was like, oh shit, tables have turned, right? And then I heard you were underestimated. And then I heard... The song um, is called Aw Naw by Nappy Roots. So you might like rap or hip hop, but this song, it goes, oh no, hell no. Y'all done up and done it. Y'all done up and done it. Yeah, y'all done up and done it. Oh no, hell no. Y'all done up and done it. And I feel like people are surprised because it's like, they expected you to fail, but you done did it. You done did the damn thing, whatever that is, whatever that means. It could be something small or it could be something big that you guys have actually accomplished and, and have done. It could be just the fact that they expected you to, to be dead by now in your life, but you still hold on to your faith, right? And then I heard the song, um, ASAP Ferg and Future, I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. What does he say? I just bought a shovel, a new shovel. Put these is in dirt. I feel like people try to bury you or maybe speak bad against you or put speak death on your life, right? Death on your dreams. But what has happened is you've graduated. You you vibing high. You on a whole new level. They don't even recognize you. Okay? They bury they they dug their own grave. Uh, when they mocked you, they done, they dug their own fucking grave here, okay? And Source told me, they are going to become believers now. They're probably going to be some of your biggest fans. Your biggest haters will convert into your biggest fans. They are going to become believers now. And then I was getting a love song, y'all. I was getting a love song by Monica. And it was, I should have known better than to think I would leave. You should have known better than to doubt me, believe. It don't matter if you're up, matter if you're down. Either way, I'm gonna be around. I feel like you shock people because you're that loyal. You're that stable. You're that individual that doesn't lose faith. You're that individual that can 
be counted on. You, sh you should have known better than to think I would leave. You should have known better than to doubt me, believe. You know, don't doubt your connection, not just with your brother and your sister, but don't doubt your connection with your person either. You should have known better. They're like, we've had lifetimes together. Don't You, you should know me better than that. You should have known better than to think I would leave. You should have known better than to doubt me, believe. So there's an, as uh, there's an aspect here that Source is wanting you to have faith and to believe. Believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, believe in your significant other or your divine counterpart, or even if you haven't met this person, you know, you feel them in spirit. Sorry, you guys, my shirt and my, my bra's all messed up. <laughs> so have faith and trust God in this process because I don't know. I feel like your person kind of got their feelings hurt because it's like you should have known better than to doubt. But you know what? We, we learn. We learn people's character by observing, you know. Let me get you a goddess, goddess guidance card. Holy Spirit, Prime Creator. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Come on now, whoop. Whoop, peace. Mmm, peace. I heard Golden Age again. I did a, there was a message about Golden Age yesterday. The age of peace. The peace that passes all understanding. People don't understand. You gone through, and I put you through all this shit. You should be fucking in bed crying. You shouldn't even be able to walk. You might have went through like near-death experiences. You should be sick. And you're not. You're at peace. Even if you have a lot of things to do. Maybe you have kids to care for or like you just have a lot of responsibilities. But it says there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So it's like, don't doubt, have a peace or, or you, you're not doubting. You're understanding that the, the circumstances is not what brings you peace. The peace is what is on, on the inside. No money can buy it. You see, this is the cornucopia. You are abundant and you are fertile. You may resonate with dolphins or the water or some sort of sea creatures or going by the water will bring you peace. <clears throat> Something about children here. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So I'm getting... Um, you bring peace to the world. You bring peace to the dying children, you bring peace to the sick children, you bring peace, I'm getting Mother Teresa energy, you bring peace to the orphans, you bring peace to people's inner child, you help people learn how to work through their inner child wounds. Look, fertility, I told you you're fertile. So you could be having a baby, and if it's not an actual baby here on this earth, it is a project here. Source is saying that all your project, have peace. It's like you might have been working on your baby, which is your project, right? You've been working on your manifestations, anything, right? All your manifestations are your babies. You might have been trying to manifest in love or manifest in for your career, manifest your projects, you know, and these are your babies, things, the inspirations God's have give, God has given you in your, in your birthing this and even even your children, right? You're 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 raising them or or whatever like that. You're raising these manifestations and there's no need to doubt or worry at all. There's a peace there. And you're very fertile. It said it, it is perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. So I'm getting empress energy too. Very fertile. Okay, you are the wheat. You are the bread of life. Like, like, you know how they say that about Jesus being the bread of life? Well, that is in you. And it's like, you give, you are, look at this, guys. 
You got a baby here and a basket of fruit and food. You have a basket of fruit and food. And then here you have the babies. So it's like, wow. Invest in these new ideas, invest in your skills, invest into your family, into your children. You guys, we got dolphins here again, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening. Walk through them. Golden opportunity. Yama ya. You guys, something about the water. Maybe you resonate with um, with mermaids. We have a mermaid here. But we also have a fairy here. We have the totem of a bunny. And we also have um, sun and moon. So I'm getting like... I heard... In every season, you are still God, and I have a reason to sing, and I have a reason to worship. So I'm getting that you are fertile in every season, day or night. You plant your seeds. God is the God of the harvest, and it's like, it's time for your harvest here receive your harvest. I, I, I'm i feeling like maybe you had a past life as a slave and you've, you, you've put in lifetimes of this. This is like whistle while you work. Like you, you have sung your slave song, whatever that means to you. Even if it means in your life, you've went through slavery, you've sung your slave song. What is your slave song? That is your, that is your faith through adversity. And now here we have a golden opportunity, fertility, peace, and birthing. A beautiful family and new ideas. All right, let's get an angel number before I get out of here because I don't even know when this video is going to cut off because I need some more memory. And I've been clearing all every all my videos. But you guys, you guys want me to clear my baby, my baby pictures of my kids just to put more content up? Come on, guys, donate to my channel, support your girl so I can get better equipment so I can do this for you guys and for source, okay? <sighs> you guys can do it by purchasing some merchandise, purchasing some of my Oracle decks, okay? You guys can do it by um, just donating to me, getting a reading. <sighs> source, what is the angel number? We got two three, four, and six. <clears throat> so we are ascending. I heard, you know, take it one step at a time, but also, you know how some people skip steps? You don't want to skip the steps. You don't want to bypass. We don't want to skip the steps. I know you can, you can skip double step for only so long. You get tired faster. So just one step at a time, 10. Also number 15, also number six. So balance, your ancestors, they're, they're blessing you. And God, I just heard God's about to open up the windows of heaven and pour, pour open a blessing, okay? But God wants you to make sure you give back with your time, your energy, and your resources towards the kingdom. Uh, what is that? Like, give forward. Like, give forward. Don't, when you give, don't expect in return. Don't expect, like, understand that your, your blessings come from God. So when you give to someone, don't expect it from that person. You know, God will give um, in many streams, in many avenues here. Um, I also was getting number five, and this could be ages or path life numbers. Number five, number 13, number four, number 10, number one. All right, I'm going to get a charm and we're going to end this. Get a couple of charms. Thank you, source creator. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit team. Thank you, God. 
Isso, maracaxi, tem que eu só tô com a maracá passada, tá, tá. I wanna lick, 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 lick you like a lollipop. I don't know, I got somebody's masculine here wanting to take you on a getaway. Hey, let's get away, let's get a room on the other side of town. Hey, baby, I was thinking of you. Croatia. You know, somebody maybe fantasizes about going on a cruise with you, or maybe it's time for you to take a vacation here. Some Somebody likes your uniqueness. That's how I'm going to put it. Somebody likes your uniqueness in your body and in just who you are. Let's get another message, Source Creator. You blinding them, bro. You blinding them with your love. You got this angelic rainbow love. The promise. You shining like a star. Aquarius energy. But some people, they might have to put on their, their shades. They might even be trying to throw some shade. They can't put out a fire, I heard. They will never put out a fire, put out your fire because your fire is not lit by other people. Your fire is lit from within by God. I just seen number 33. Somebody misses you. And here is the promise coming in. But yeah, you got somebody. I heard, I just want to kiss you. I just want to hold you right now. You pretty little thing. Come dance with me. I just want to hold you right now. You know, I heard take things slow. All right. I love you, family. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I love you guys. Peace.